Hey Virgo, how are y'all? So Virgo, I was meditating on your energy and I was definitely picking up on, um, you could be feeling lonely at this time, um, feeling a little depressed, just really going through emotions right now. Um, you're, you're not alone. Your spirit guides are all around you, um, nurturing and loving and hugging on you and trying to help motivate you so you can believe in yourself. I don't know who you're dealing with or who you just finished dealing with. They have, uh, I heard, did a number. But see, this person is doing this because they want to feel superior about themselves. And so they get a kick out of putting people down as well as yourself, you know, things like that. And so... Uh, also, too, this person is very wicked. Um, they do a lot of conjuring up and things like that. And so they're very manipulative. You know, they really try to play on your psyche, things like that. But moving forward, um, spirit don't want you to stay in this mindset for a long period of time. You know, um, when you uh, stay depressed for long periods of time, months and months and months, you start to create poltergeists. Um, and do your research because I really want y'all to have this um, information to know this type of information. Sorry, guys. Um, look this stuff up so you would just know and, and have more insight on this uh, type of information. Because um, I heard there's no rest for the wicked. I heard disturbed. Because, see, when these people start to... Um, when this shift happened, people are going to start feeling how you felt times 10. And I just say that because right now you're also, you're going through your personal things as well as you are picking up on people's emotions. It's just a lot for you right now. And I, I heard you're exhausted. So please take some time to shift your perspective as well as to do therapeutic things, meditate, get outside and sunbathe, get outside and just walk in the rain. Whatever is healing and therapeutic to you, please do that. Because we got to get you out of this funk as well as I need you to meditate so you can know your energy versus someone else's. Yeah, see with this judgment, you're going through this because it's going to help you put you on your path so you can start your calling. Yeah, but you're going to have to shift your perspective. That's all the hangman energy. It speaks of change, things like that. And so instead of looking at this situation like, oh my gosh, this is so, so much, so many burdens. I'm just depressed. I'm just down. Shift your perspective because not all of that energy is yours. You really have to step into your power and take back your power. And, and that's when you're going to start noticing a shift. As soon as you change, people are going to change around you. What else, Spirit? Yeah, see, with the King of Swords coming out, it's like your crown is tilted. You're going to have to get a little bit more stricter than what you are about yourself and people coming around you. Um, you're, yeah. This will of fortune, things that you have prayed for, things that you've been trying to manifest, it's time. It's time that they come in. Yeah, you have the King of Pentacles right here. It's time for you to level up. And see, right now, you're you're unfocused, you're unsure with that Two of Pentacles because there's so many things going on. But you're seeing all of this and you're picking up on these emotions and stuff. So this can get prepared, so this can prepare you for your journey. Yeah. So definitely, you walked away from this past person for a reason, or they left you. However, this person was in and out. Take it where it resonates. Yeah, because you couldn't take it so, no more. This battle and what they do behind the scenes, conjuring up and, and spiritually and stuff. Some of y'all was physically fighting with the energy. No, no. Because they were that selfish and that greedy. I'm telling you, somebody manipulates a lot. They do a lot of manipulation to get what they want. It's like a bully energy. And you are more just like, I don't have time for it. Like, just worse than hell. You don't, yeah, you don't want to deal with it. Yeah, King of Pentacles is out here with the sun. This person is definitely going to get exposed. It's just a matter of time. And so, please be patient. Yeah, because this person is just a backstabber. They're always doing something sneaky. Always stealing from someone. You know? And, yeah, mm, you're going to hear about this as well as you're going to pick this up spiritually. But I want to paste you right now for those of you that are new to my channel. And I just say this 
because I talk a lot about the spiritual side of what we go through because nobody likes to talk about that. But no, when you are in this energy of manifesting and things are coming in, you, you experience a lot of demonic energies coming towards you, trying to um, unalive you, trying to stop you from going on your path, things like that. And so I heard word of mouth. Mm-hmm. Two of Pentacles. People are starting to uh, hear about this breakup. So you're getting ready to experience some attacks. From like your close friends, loved ones, their loved ones, things like that, possibly even co-workers. They're going to be coming left and right. And you need to know how to fight back, but on a spiritual level. You don't have to lift a finger. This is all um, the power that you hold. This is all inside. This is with all prayer and simply you moving forward and leveling up. Mm -hmm. Three of Swords with the Three of Pentacles, you're going to be shocked and heartbroken knowing who all work together to come. I heard ring leader. Who the ring leader is, I heard in your family to work against you. It is a male energy what I'm picking up on. That's been trying to take you out for a long time with that seven pentacles. Working against you. Mm -hmm. The nine of cups is at the bottom of the day because again, this person is definitely selfish and they want everything to themselves and they don't like that you are moving faster than them. But see, God blesses you, and, and really you getting blessed is because of the hard work that you have put in, but also to let the enemy know, leave my child alone. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. Look, Empress at the bottom of the deck, because you always going to get what you want. Yeah. Spirit definitely wants you. Uh, you don't have to pay for readings. With the Six of Pentacles, you're doing, you're paying for something. You hold that power for, and, and anytime you encounter a reader, and you don't have to say this to them, you know, readings are supposed to be free. Um, if you do need a reading, you can contact me, WesleyGuidance at gmail.com. Um, but just moving forward, don't pay for any more readings. You hold this power. Um, definitely take time to meditate. When you meditate and you study on the practice of meditation, again, do your research so you can um, know when you first start meditating that, you know, this practice takes time. It takes time for you to get. So um, I definitely want you to stay focused and don't feel like, oh, you're not getting it because you are. It's just meditation helps you also heal. And so it brings a lot of things that we didn't know that really bothered us the way it did to the forefront. Anything else, Spirit? Mm -hmm. See, there's some people in your energy that you still talk to that you need to block with the seven of wands coming out. But you you will see. Yeah. Because the truth is going to expose itself. I really just need right now. Yeah. The eight of pentacles came out. And look what's behind it. The devil. Somebody who's all up in your business, wanting to know your every move. Now, at that part, you do know what I, who I'm talking about with that high priestess coming out. Right now, take the time out to make sure that you are focusing on you, working on yourself, healing yourself, and stepping into your power. Make sure that you are taking control of the situation. Things that, that are no longer out of your control, let that stuff go. And things that you can't control, um, you know... Go ahead and take control there. You have the Six of Wands out here because you are going to experience a victory in this situation. Um, and I know it may seem like you're not, but definitely take your time. Because right now, I really feel like a lot of fear. Um, fear is just an illusion. So don't ever feel like, you know, like the enemy is winning. People are going to do what they do just to scare you. But again, fear is an illusion. Anything else? Yeah, with the strength, you have to take back your power, and that's how you're going to confuse the enemy. All right, Virgos, if y'all have any questions, please reach out. I love y'all so much, and see you next time. Bye.